The guys found out that a young man was being kept at the crane lab, and they had to bust him out. He was a friend of April's. She knew him since she was a kid, and was so afraid of something bad happening to him. Donnie, being the guy that he is, said that we should go right away, and April was relieved even though we didn't have a plan or anything. So here we are, no plan, and saving someone we didn't even know what they looked like. Well, getting in there was easy, but finding you was the hard part. Leo said his orders, and everyone went their different ways. Eventually, Leo ended up in a room with chains all over and some... Are those bird feathers? Hello? Are you your name, last name? April sent us to help you. He slowly made his way to the figure when suddenly he hears a growl, a low one. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to help. Help? You want to help? Then why did you let them do it? He said lowly. What? Why would you let them do this to me? It hurts, he said. He yelled loudly. Leo backed up and finally saw a bit up top, a light a bit up top, and he saw the young man. He looked normal, like still human. Odd, if he meant, why did you let them do this? Then why wouldn't he be mutated or something? Leo shook his head and came back up again, trying to ease the young man. Calm down, your name. I have a brother who can help you with your pain. You just have to calm down. Leo cautiously said and held his hands up a bit. It hurts. He sobbed loudly. The young man sobbed with both his hands on the ground holding him up. Leo was a lost for a moment, but he knew he had to stay strong and be the leader. He thought about calling Donnie, but it might be a bad idea since your name was very distressed and clearly in pain. Suddenly, your name held his middle, like hugging himself tightly, screaming loudly and arching forward. Ah! Your name screamed. Leo stepped back and took out his katana ready for battle if needed be. Your name backed. Your name back started to pull upward in a way with wings slowly popping out. You could hear the bone-chilling sound of flesh and bone cracking under it, and honestly, it could make you lightheaded. Feathers replaced skin, and soon, a full-on huge bird was seen in the dark cell. Leo could see that it was a crow, and not just a small one, but a big mutated one. Like the wasp they mutated back a few months ago, but more. Humanoid. He charged for Leo, and he blocked quickly and kicked hard. The crow screamed, and coming back, clawed Leo on the arm, and he fell back. Just in time, Raph stopped the bird from doing any, any more damage. What the heck is that thing? Raph yelled. It's your name, April's friend. He was mutated into a crow. Donnie looked on in amazement until he was knocked into the wall and came back up with Mikey's help. He was human when I came in here, Leo said as he was fighting off the monster. How is that even possible? Donnie yelled and blocked your name before hitting him again. Dudes, that's so crazy. Like, alien crazy. The others looked at him with a really look on looks, but fought on. They finally got him down, and Mikey tied him up, and putting a foot on his back to keep him from jerking upward at them. Leo kneeled down and touched the creature's head. Your name. We're gonna fix you up. Donnie can help you, but you need to stay calm. April is waiting for you. Your name had seemed to settle down when he heard her name. He let out a grunt and somehow changed back into a human. Shirt was no longer on him and his stomach was cut up and bleeding, but he was overall fine. Later at the lair, April was so happy to see her friend, but he was hurt. Raph and Mikey told her what happened to them and what happened to him. She was so heartbroken to say the least, but she was happy that he was here with them and not with the Krang. Back in Donnie's lap, Donnie was patching him up, and Leo was there by his side. For some unknown reason, he felt like he should be there to comfort him and make sure he is okay. Donnie left the room for a bit to get something. Leo stayed and stared at the sleeping form. He blinked in surprise when he saw eyes looking back at him. Turtle? He quietly said, more to himself than the blue-clad turtle. Hey, don't worry, I won't hurt you. April is a friend of ours. She sent us to get you out of the crane lab. Do you remember? He asked. 
A younger male nodded slowly. He sat up from the bed. Leo put his hand on his chest. Hey, whoa, you shouldn't be doing that. You're still recovering, he said calmly. Your name looked down and saw Leo's hand where he had it there. Leo blushed and quickly let go. Sorry, he apologized, stuttering through the whole thing. The younger male shook his head. It's fine. Why did you save me? He asked. Leo blinked and regained his composure. Because April is your friend and she is ours, she was worried about you. Really worried. Your name shook his head. No. Why save me after I attacked you? I mean, I'm a monster. He hid his face in his hands. I don't deserve to be saved. Not a monster like me. He softly sniffed, wiping his nose. Leo frowned. Don't talk like that. You do deserve to be saved. Do you think I'm a monster? He asked. Your name quickly looked up. No. He shook his head. Then why would you be one? He looked down and then back up at the blue clad turtle and saw Leo smiling at him with such care and honesty. It made his heart soar. He nodded. Thanks. I'm still scared of this thing I turn into, he said smiling sadly. Don't worry, we will help you, and Donnie is working on a cure for all the mutants in the city, even April's dad. He nodded. I never got your name. I was kind of out of it when you came in my cell. He chuckled lightly. Leo blushed lightly and looked to the side. I'm Leonardo, but you can call me Leo. He smiled and offered a hand. The younger male took it and smiled back lightly. Nice to meet you. I'm your name last name. Leo blushed so hard when he saw him smile. He had to shake his head to snap him out of it. Your name chuckled at that. Hey, thanks, Leo. He smiled wide. Leo blinked and smiled back. You're welcome. He stood up and pushed him back down. Rest. I'll be here when you wake back up. Your name said and a quick o and said a quick okay and pulled the covers over his body and closed his eyes. Good night, Leo. Leo and your name were outside the lair and enjoying the stars. It was your name's idea that he had he would see the stars after being underground for a month. He was finally better and the beast inside was controlled. Thanks for taking me out. I always enjoyed watching the stars late at night. You're welcome. You need some time out. It's been a month since you've been here. Leo smiled and sat down. He was mainly watching your name. The way his face shined in the light of the moon and stars. How his eyes lit up when seeing the stars in the night sky. Crows started to come out and surround your name. They didn't hurt him. They were just there. Guess I attract them now. He looked up. Does that bother you? Leo asked. No, as long as you're here. He smiled back at Leo, and Leo blushed for the 1500th time this month. This guy makes him feel warm and calm on the inside. It's insane how calm your name can make him feel. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. Leo laughed softly. Your name sat down next to him and held his hand. Leo looked at his hand with his, and that cute shocked face he gets. He looked back up at the stars and at your name. No star is as bright as you.